Hi, you guys. So, um, I hope you had a good week. I am gonna get real, real with you all. Um, so I had attempted to do this video way earlier today and, um, I was really, really struggling. Um, I was overly critical of myself, um, expecting it to flow really nicely. I put a lot of prep work into it, um, but things were just not going well. I was getting interrupted and all these things. And then, which of course leads to me, um, like, are you cut out for all of this? And are you, uh, sorry guys, this is all impromptu. So are you, um, good enough? You know, maybe you're just not meant to do this. Um, I will say that at the beginning, bless you, my daughter, I never imagined my face and my, like me being in it as much as I anticipated. Um, so that's an adjustment for me, but it was interesting because today's topic is literally what I was falling into today, this morning. Um, today I wanted to talk about women uplifting women and, uh, quit like the judgment and the criticism and be there for one another and uplift each other and our strengths and stuff. But then I was falling, falling into it. I was doing it to myself. Um, you know, uh, which is so just draining trying to portray a certain image that isn't you. So here we are again. And I knew there was a lesson in all of that struggling this morning. Um, so <laughs> I pray you have grace with me with this cause it's a little, uh, off script here, but um, what I wanted to talk about today was just uh, this us women being there for one another and uh, uplifting one one another and how beautiful our community and our um, friendships and relationships can be with each other when we do that. Um, um, whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the Bible verse. When you come together, each one has a hymn, a lesson, a revelation, a tongue, or an interpretation. Let all things be done for building up. That is Corinthians 14, 26. So God has given us all each individual special gifts, whatever they may be. Um, and when I say gifts, I really mean like attributes. Um, for example, some people are extremely empathetic, uh, can put themselves in other people's shoes and understand how they feel. Um, some people are very logical, can bring facts to the table. Some people are extremely convicted and strong in their beliefs and things like that. So it's not to say that just because someone is different than you or don't hold every strength doesn't mean that they should fall victim to judgment and uh, um, or that because someone would do something different than we would. Uh, there's so many different people in the world and I think that that is all by design. We're meant to come together to complement each other, not contradict each other. So you are meant to share your gifts with others and they're meant to share theirs with you. Um, and I do want to expand on this kind of like what you do to yourself the way I did today. Um, like, hey, you're spreading the good news. Like, this is what you're doing. You're doing a great job. But here I am worried about video quality, how well I speak, things like that. Just that don't matter. Um, so those are these. I'm What I'm saying here is that we do need to focus on our strengths and other people's strengths. The good things about our friends and, our, and women rather than tearing them down. Um, and every little flaw they have because we are all so flawed, all of us. Um, next thing, do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility. Count others more significant than yourselves. So being selfless is a hard thing, very hard. But he 
our Lord does want us to focus more on others than on ourselves. That was Philippians 2.3. Um, so we try to be all of those things, everything, be perfect, be able to be and have it all, which is unsustainable, which can of course lead to envy and deceit and um, comparison, judgment, all those things that I had already mentioned. So yes, there are going to be people out there that have things that you want and, you know, you know, that Chip and Joanna house, that body that bounces back after childbirth or that job that you've been trying to get for so long. And um, we can bottle up resentment and jealousy and and hurtful thoughts and maybe even words to other people. But that's another opportunity to look inward and see the gifts that you've been given from our Lord. And um, I know that's so much easier said than done. Obviously, I'm not ignorant to the point where it's like it's easy for those things to come about. But um, I just feel like one thing I was thinking earlier was like for every negative thought you have about somebody or something, especially other women, think of three amazing things about them. What if we all did that? It would be a really good world. So compliment those things instead of wishing and being resentful and um being resentful that you don't have them and like i said i know that's hard but when you can swallow that pride uh you swallow the pride then you are uplifting to that person that you are you know maybe jealous of but you're just like hey you know what good for you that's amazing you know things like that i don't know whatever that situation may be but you see that person's let's say they're not the humblest person, but they, you see them break down those walls and they will start sharing that uplifting and encouragement to you and to others as well. So it's a kind of a chain reaction. We've always, you know, kind of, we've kind of always learned about that. Compliments can lead to more compliments. You know what I mean? Kind of simple idea. But, um, therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor. For we are members of one another. So, that's Ephesians 4.25. Um, uh, there is something really special and really amazing about really authentic friendships. Especially between women. And the only way to really have these is to just... I think be open and honest. So my sister came over today with her niece, or my niece, her daughter, to play with my uh, youngest Abe, you've seen her. And um, I just kind of like was telling her all my struggles about this today, just being so self-critical and being so uh, hard on myself, not knowing what to do and just being like, I'm struggling. I'm really struggling today. Being open and honest with those struggles can just really break down barriers between people and you share your burdens with other people, other women, and they share theirs with you. And it just turns into this really deep, meaningful relationship and carrying burdens and struggles alone is, is, is a very lonely world, which can lead to, um, I mean, a lot of, uh, mental hardship and um when you're like I said when you're open others are too and it can turn into this amazing thing that just can continue and carry on with other people if that makes sense <laughs> I feel like I'm a little ambiguous today <laughs> um talk to community about your struggles what's going on bear your burdens uh don't bear your burdens alone um and I pray that whoever you bear your burdens to, they will uh, break down their barriers, share theirs, and then be there for you and push that judgment aside. Um, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. That's Hebrew 10, 24. Think about a time that you got the best compliment, one that you will never forget. Um, and how it made you feel after. 
I can think of a couple. But um, what if we just went around saying these things to each other all the time? Like, rather than sitting next to each other and being like, gosh, you're so dang pretty. I wish I was. Just say it. Don't say it. I'm not gonna tell you because I wish I was pretty as you. That's stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> oh, it's all for naught anyways. Anyways, um, <laughs> um, let me just check my notes. Rather than a uh, quick thought of judgment or jealousy, you replace it with three, or like I said earlier, three admirations, things about them. So good for them. And uh, that person was really thoughtful. Thank you for thinking of that. Or you're, um, you're a really strong person with all the things you're going through. And these ad affirmations are, are um, life-changing. People remember them and you might give people the encouragement they need to um, fulfill something they've been trying to start or do or something they were doubting. Um, for example, I needed those today and my best friends came through. I went and shared my struggles and there they were saying, hey, you're doing great work. So, <laughs> thanks for listening to me, you guys. I'm all over the place today. Um, so not just saying them or thinking them, saying them, which people are can be awkward. And I know that's yikes, awkward. I don't want to say it. That's so hard. Um, who cares, man? I just want to say, like, who cares? Let's just be so kind and uplifting to each other. Because it's amazing to have those that those people in your life. Um, and then another way to think of it is think of the person that... Think of a person you love being around the most because they are so positive, so uplifting, so wonderful. And I know, I again, I know this isn't always the case. Like today I'm a little, I was a little down this morning and it's hard to be that uplifting self all the time. But if we are always there to encourage each other in those times where we're down, like I needed somebody today. And I had those, a couple women in my life that were there for me. And we just need to be those people. Um, so every time you leave that person that you thought of, you think, gosh, that was nice. She's so great. Like, she's just amazing. Because she's so uplifting to me and to others. Um, and what if everyone was like that? I know it's it's not realistic, but to the ones that are watching, we could do that. Um, and I mean this specifically women to women because, ladies, we got a lot on our plates. We do a lot. We've got kids. Some of most of, or I mean, not most of us, but a lot of us have kids to take care of, ourselves to take care of, families. Um, just we carry a lot of a lot of stuff. So why not do it all together? That's what Bless Your My Daughter is all about, right? Um, so I wanted to end on this Bible verse. These baby hairs, a little just coming in. Hair, <laughs> no containing, y'all. Um. Oh. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there's anything worth praise, think about these things. That's Philippians again, uh, 4, 8. So think those things. Whatever there is good of a person, think those things. So much easier said than done, right? Um, I got to cut, cut this off because Instagram won't let me post it if it's any longer. <laughs> Oh, God, I pray for all these ladies. Um, let's be together. Let's be there for each other. Help us to find the good in everyone. Um, put our judgment, put our envy, jealousy, deceit, all the things aside. And uh, just be there for each other. Because um, it's not easy. Life ain't easy. And we need each other. And we need you, Lord. Amen. Bye, guys.